Hey, folks, welcome to InTheMoneyStocks.com's intraday analysis video brought to you by the creators of proprietary price, pattern, and time methodology. Learn the PPT strategies and profit for life. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here at In The Money Stocks. Dot com. All right, into the action we go today on a market that has gone from negative to positive. Again, this morning we saw a gap down on this Wednesday, November 13th, 2013. Quickly, the markets began to reverse to the upside. And before you know it, we sit right here up seven and three quarters points on the S&P 500, up 19 and a half points on the Dow, and the NASDAQ up almost 29 points on the day. So a pretty strong reversal in the markets. The key to today's move, though, is the takeout of the previous double top, triple top levels here. So if you go back even just to the 6th of November last week, the 7th, and then even the 11th here, earlier this week on Monday, this was a little bit of a resistance point at the 177.50 level. Today we have pushed through that. Now the big question that I'm going to be looking for into the end of the day is, do we close above that level? Or do they sell the markets back inside the range we've been in? Now if we close above that level, what you're looking for tomorrow is confirmation. All right, if you get confirmation tomorrow, then what it tells me is the markets have a little bit more of a float to the upside. Now, the one reason we really want to focus on confirmation is because without confirmation, the market tends, and this is more institutionally driven, but it tends to push people in the wrong direction. So one thing we saw, and this was a great example of it, you closed below a key level here last week on Thursday, yet without confirmation, they reversed the market on everyone. And this confirmation signal, again, is a proprietary signal, super, super easy to learn. But again, members know exactly what I'm talking about here at InTheMoneyStocks.com. Now, if we confirm to the upside, then again, you have a little bit more upside likely in the markets. You have about 2 to 3% max move to the upside from what my calculations are showing. Now, the one reason why tomorrow's a pivotal day, folks, is because Janet Yellen, who's going to be taking over for Ben Bernanke, will be, I repeat, will be testifying and being answer, answering questions on Capitol Hill tomorrow. So there's going to be a big issue in terms of the market watching what she says. Does she say anything controversial that goes against what everyone thinks? Now, right now, everyone's going into this thinking that she's a huge, huge dove to the market. She wants to print more money than Ben Bernanke. Now, if tomorrow she says anything contrary to that, the markets could get very, very wild. So the interesting thing today in terms of the action with the market reversing the early gap down is that the markets are looking towards her comments and assuming they're going to be positive. They're assuming they're going to be very dovish. So the market is almost factoring in positive comments tomorrow. Now, again, as I said, if something reverses on that, if she says something the market not, is not expecting, then you may see a pretty dramatic decline. I expect her to be super careful. She knows. She's not stupid. Just like Ben Bernanke's not stupid. They know the markets are going to be watching every single word that comes out of their mouths. And therefore, I expect her to be super, super careful. All right, guys. So that's what we have going on on the spiders right now. We want to follow today's close and then tomorrow's action into the Janet Yellen conference or the, the comments being released. If we go to the daily chart, you can see what we've been doing here for quite a while. You've just been for focusing right on this upper range. Again, we broke above the high recently right here by just a tiny bit. Let's see where we close today. But the markets, again, continue to chop just above this range. Uh, ultimately, I do expect the markets to break down, but we just have to watch for which way confirms outside of the range. Upside action gives you about 2 to 3% max upside. Downside action has a 5 to 10% handle on it with potentially more to the downside if we were to break this range that we've been stuck in, all right? What you can do right here, actually, is draw a trend line like this. And if we were to break below this area uh, down to the 200, you actually could see even more downside. But right now, that's your minimal downside if we were to pull back and break below the recent range, which you can see the recent range has been very tight up here. So you're just looking for confirmation of the upside or the downside. If we go back to the 10-minute chart on the spiders, you're basically using this low right here and this right high right here. 
So do we do we close above this high or do we close below this low? And then we look for confirmation on that angle. Couple big movers today that have been making members money. Nuance Communications, guys. I'm I'm long this as a swing trade. Great pop today. This was a no-brainer. I've day traded it today as well. It's been a beautiful thing. But take a look right here, folks. A little bit of a bottoming tail. We hit the 20 MA today, so that's probably going to stall it out. If it gets through the 20 MA, you have a lot of upside to go. Uh, right now, I'm projecting that once this does, and it should get above the 20 MA, but once it does get above the 20 MA, you're looking for upside potential to about $16.5. And if you get through 16 and a half, you could actually go all the way to the 50 MA. A lot of this will be determined on whether uh, Carl Icahn releases any new news about his position. Carl Icahn obviously owns a huge chunk, almost 20% of Nuance Communications. One of my thesis points for buying this, not only was it into a beautiful double bottom, and by the way, we're up nicely on this position now, but not only was it into a huge, huge double bottom right down here from 2011, which is just a beautiful level, but also the fact that Icon does own it, and he owns part of Apple, and Apple has uses the voice recognition of Nuance, so I mean, it's almost a synergy there, and I could totally see Icon trying to get, get Apple to be a buyer of Nuance and buy the company, so, you know, in the very least, you gotta figure Icon's gonna tweet something about Nuance at some point, which will spike it up 50 cents to a dollar, so that was my thesis, along with the chart, and it all was working out in, in, beautiful droves right now in terms of profits. Another stock that we own here in the Research Center, and again, there's a seven-day free trial for the Research Center, is this TWGP. I picked this up at uh, $3.60, and the beauty of it is we popped up, we sold half for about uh, something like a 12.5% gain, and then this is consolidated along the 20 and is now starting to break out to the upside. So uh, beautiful breakout today. Uh, upside potential is basically at least to gap window right here, which is all the way up to about the $5 level. That's a long way to go still, and I'd love to see this thing run up there in the coming days and give profits to members here at InTheMoneyStocks.com. That would be a monstrous profit, and I do expect it to get there, believe it or not. I do, absolutely. The chart is telling that it continues to look to be have upside momentum to about the five dollar level all right so that's going to be an interesting one to watch as well uh, i continue to put out trade alerts i have a new trade alert that should be out this afternoon for members of the research center as well so really good stuff out there uh, today in the intraday stock chat lots of people scalped the twgp uh, also srpt which got crushed yesterday bounced back above 13 some members caught that as well so it's been a good bounce uh, day good trading day overall even though the markets have just basically gone in one direction here uh, let's just go back to the spiders and just look at what we have on the intraday here intraday again is hovering right here let me just take a look at a couple key names out there now this is a couple interesting things jp morgan is lagging the market markets are having a decent update as i mentioned earlier but look at jpm it was sharply lower recovered and is still negative on the day so I do think that warrants a little bit of attention. We're also seeing Goldman basically flat. Chevron, Exxon are negative on the day. So we're seeing a lot of the Dow components, I've noticed, today. Dow components are a little on the weaker side. While well, you have technology leading the charge today, as I mentioned, the NASDAQ was up almost 30 points. And that's percentage-wise about uh, 7 tenths of 1%, the leader by far. The Dow is only up 1 tenth of 1%. So, I mean, up 25 points, one-tenth of 1%. And the s and is kind of in the middle, up four-tenths of 1%. So, NASDAQ tech is definitely leading today, uh, no doubt about that. All right, now, a couple other things to look at. Uh, I'm keeping an eye on Amazon as a potential short in the future. Basically, what I'm watching here is this two-bar down move, mainly this wide-range bar. I want to see this form the bearish pattern. So, you can see right here very clearly that you're having inside bar action along the 20 MA. And if this goes a little bit more sideways for a few more days, I am going to look to short Amazon, folks. And again, I think Amazon is getting ripe for the taking here in the upper ranges. And that is what I'm going to be looking for. So, again, for those of you that are members, you'll get a, an alert should I be a shorter of Amazon in the not too distant future okay let's see what else we have here as the charts continue to ripen Google's having a nice day today not back to its all-time highs 52 week highs but nonetheless nice 16 and a half dollar jump on that stock Cena reported earnings I believe and that stock is having a big move up up nine dollars on the day today so beautiful move on Cena uh, take a look at a couple other stocks out there. Home Depot, big move on Home Depot today. You can see the wide range bar. Uh, what you're going to have here is a little bit of resistance right here, okay, as it comes up into this range, and you're also going to have a little bit of resistance right in this range here. So, again, the stock actually does have a little bit more upside potential over the next few days into this area. Then it should meet a lot of resistance, and then we'll have to watch to see if it's going to get through that area, okay? Uh, what else do we have? I noticed that... Um, 
We had uranium stocks are ripping today. This UEC, which is a small cap uranium play, almost up. Actually, at this stage of the game, it's up over 50% today, guys. Amazing. You can see the former major run that it had. Huge, huge run to the upside. Consolidation down to the 200, then ripping today. Uh, also, URRE is having a big move today as well. Up 50 cents on the day. Monster move there on URRE. All right, so that's what we have going on there in the small cap land of what small caps are making moves. I'm also noticing some Chinese stocks are perking up a little bit, although some are also down on the day as well. Uh, Canadian solar, solar stocks. Canadian solar turned a profit finally. This stock continues to move up. I do have a top on Canadian solar not too far in the future. Take a look at this, guys. Your 2010 high will be a beautiful high pivot there at around 33.75. So there's about $2 more upside on uh, CSIQ, and then I'll be looking to short this play. Uh, you can take a look at other solar stocks having good days. Uh, solar City here up $2, although that's not near its highs. And First Solar uh, up another $2, which is at 52-week highs up here. So solar stocks continue to be outperformers today. Beautiful outperformers there. All right, I think on that note, I'm going to step aside, guys. But again, come take the seven-day free trial here at InTheMoneyStocks.com. If you're a swing trader, the Research Center is for you. If you're an investor, the Research Center is also for you. If you're a day trader, Intraday Stock Chat is for you. All right, come get the trades that continue to produce income and money. And again, it doesn't really matter to us which way the market goes as long as the charts tell us, which the PPT methodology does, we will be on the right side of uh, basically 80% of all the trades. You know, that's the winning rate here. And again, come join us at InTheMoneyStocks.com.